As soon as Little Caesars said it was releasing a pizza wrapped with a bacon crust, I knew I had to try it. That's why their CEO, David Scrivano, is here to tell us more about this creation and what else Little Caesars might be cooking up. David, thanks very much for joining us, making the trek from Michigan. We appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me. So, this smells amazing. It's here. It's right in front of us. It's been out on sale for about a week and a half. How is the bacon pizza selling? Oh, it's selling great. It's a limited time offer. It's available through the end of April, and uh, we are so pleased with the results. And the crust is actually wrapped in what, like three and a half feet of bacon? Yeah, wrapped all the way around three and a half feet of bacon. There's actually two pizzas in one. So you get one bacon wrapped deep dish for only $12. Now, David, I have to tell you, this feels like a Super Bowl food. Why didn't you guys release this when the Super Bowl was happening? Well, during the Super Bowl, we had our, our pretzel pizza, and our soft pretzel pizza was a big seller as well. That was limited time, replaced by this one, and, you know, customers loved both of them. Okay, so you had to, had to make some choices about what to release. Now, if we see this pizza here, you can tell this is not thin crust pizza. This is a pretty hefty piece of pizza. You guys have released the nutritional information <laughs> on it, which made me a little sad to look at. It's about 450 calories a slice. There's a lot of fat in this thing. How much do you think you should eat in one sitting? <laughs> well, you know, I, I eat it all the time. I love it. Um, you know, I eat a slice or two. Um, you can have as many as you like, and you know, it's, uh, it's a great option. It's a super premium uh, pizza, so those who really like to indulge, you know, have this. If, if you like a, maybe a lower calorie, you might get a plain cheese pizza or a veggie pizza. So this is for your cheat day on your diet. This is not for your normal day. <laughs> I, I have many cheat days in a week, so it's now, great. We are at this point, though, where it seems like consumers are being a little bit more discerning about what they eat. People are looking for healthier options. They want to know where their ingredients are from. So when you're thinking about how to come up with a new product that you're going to add to the menu, do you take that into account at all? How does that weigh against wanting to wrap something in bacon? Yeah, you know what's great about Little Caesars, um, and you mentioned nutrition and uh, the ingredients, and Little Caesars is the only national pizza chain that makes our dough fresh every day in our stores. We have a real clean label. We have fresh cheese, never frozen, um, no fillers in our cheese. So I think our customers appreciate the natural ingredients, and the ability for us to bake dough fresh every day gives us an opportunity to innovate, make things like the bacon wrap deep dish. Okay, let's take this health conversation one step further because you may know in Washington there has been this battle brewing about how you can define a nutritional school lunch and that has pitted pizza against officials in Washington and there are people saying that pizza should count as a vegetable in school lunches. <laughs> I have to have you weigh, on this, weigh in on this. What do you think? Should pizza count as a vegetable? <laughs> pizza has many healthy ingredients. The cheese has some protein, the sauce has some lycopene. Certainly pizzas have components of health to it. So, you know, it's a great option. But I can't imagine you'd want your kids eating this every single day. <laughs> well, ask my kids. They had it last night and they loved it. So very healthy kids. All right. The other thing we're seeing in your industry right now is people are really innovating on in how they order pizza. So you see Domino's and you see Pizza Hut and they're letting you order pizza on your through your car. They're letting you order pizza through Xbox, even through a smartwatch. Is that something Little Caesars is considering at all? Do you guys want to venture into that space? Yeah, well, Little Caesars has, has a little niche. Our franchisees uh, love the fact our customers can walk in and get a pizza hot and ready any time of the day. So to fiddle around with the computer or go on your smartphone takes a little bit too long. You get out of your car, walk into Little Caesars, and it's ready for you. It's a and great thing. You guys thing. do like that simplistic approach, kind of the $5 hot and ready. And it seems like because of that, you are very discerning about whether you're going to roll out a new product, like the pretzel pizza or the bacon-wrapped mm -hmm. pizza. Are there any other new products <laughs> in the works right now? Should we be able to see another specialty pizza coming soon? <laughs> well, you know, we're really becoming known as an innovative pizza chain, and we've rolled out some great products like the Detroit style deep dish about a year and a half ago, the pretzel pizza, and now the bacon wrapped. And we have a lot more in the pipeline, and we'll have some more coming out later in the year. All right, David, I really appreciate you coming in. I really appreciate you bringing this pizza because I am definitely going to try it as soon as we wrap this up. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.